Denzel and Robert Kimdichi both share a passion and burning desire to win. Their unique nature and chemistry has contributed to the brotherhood that is the Ole Miss Rebels. Coach Freeze, his message is a family, brotherhood. I had a sense of that because that's the only way that I was able to make it. It's kind of a combined um, good job as a coaching staff. It just kind of paved the way for us as men also. Being able to see them guys, you know, cheer each other on, love on each other the way they do, man. That type of stuff right there spreads around the team. The handoff is to Kandichi straight ahead, and Robert powers it in for the touchdown. His second offensive touchdown of the year. Two different guys from, you know, the same mom and dad, and size difference is extreme. Personalities are different. The first time I seen both of them, I was like, how are they brothers? And Robert's so big and Denzel's so small. I was always kind of bigger than everybody, probably like when I started playing football. Right now, I'm in front of the camera. I'm mic'd up. It's what you're getting. Raw cut. The lineman will be holding. They will. I ain't holding, baby. <laughs> Coach Freeze, I'm going to double to me all day. Robert Kandichi's in the backfield. Buchanan's going to swing it out. It's complete here on the near side and down the sidelines and into the end zone is Kandichi on a touchdown. Hit him on a little swing route. Long back is Robinson behind him. They're going to hand it off to Robinson. Remember, he was doing pretty good early. Oh, this time he's in trouble. Denzel Kandichi said, you know, I'm enough of this. Denzel and Robert. You know, they look a lot alike in the face, obviously, but body-wise, they're totally different. But nobody's got a better motor than Denzel Kandichi, and he just dropped him cold. They're two totally different individuals. You know, Rob is really, uh, man, he's, he's easygoing, uh, very competitive. The level to which they want to compete, uh, no one can ever doubt. What up, boy? Such great energy out here, huh? Usually, I don't have a mic on me so I can talk to myself and no one hear me. But I welcome y'all today. Y'all are invited. There you go, boy! Nothing! Come! Come! In 2012, Denzel Kandichi made all SEC second team. That spring, the hype around whether or not Robert would join him in Oxford was at an all-time high. He had an official setup for LSU that weekend. I was nervous about that. They had Super Bowl weekend in New Orleans, and everybody's worried he's taking pictures with Shaq. And, uh, you know, we really sweated it out until, until that morning. And it was a lot going on. You know, I had to, crucial decisions, you know I mean? I really had to think about it. On the way home, Robert called me and said, get matching outfits for tomorrow. That's when something I dreamed about, it was happening in less than 24 hours. Playing together, I mean, that, that's kind of a neat deal, you know, and being able to share that with your brother, I mean, that's something they'll be able to look back on, you know, 20, 30 years from now. And I just made a decision, I was like, I'm coming. You know what I mean? My mom wanted it. My dad was like, it's the best way to bring the family back together. My oldest brother moved out also to Oxford, so it was just like a good way to kind of bring everybody back together because everybody kind of split up at a point. Certainly excited, you know, for to see the number one player in the nation put on the Ole Miss hat. You know, it helped put Ole Miss on the map. I mean, that day we were on ESPN probably more than any other time in the history of the school. When he signed, it was just like, okay, the number one player is going to Ole Miss. It must be something special about that, and you know, about that team down there. And the dominoes been falling for us, and we brought in some real good players, and it's some more to come, I'm sure. I don't think anybody imagined that we would have had the class that we had. It was just like, all right, I made the right decision because he see it too, and then. Laramie ended up not going to Georgia. It was like, okay, wow, you know what I'm saying? We got something going here. From the moment they stepped on campus that summer, it was a mindset. Those guys all came in together and said, we're gonna do something special from the time they got recruited till the time they signed.